Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 12th of December. The local media headlines today. If you had to explain this country's position on Brexit to the man who's in charge of the Brexit negotiations for the European Union, what do you think you'd say? Cornwall Council's leader Adam Painter has now got one week to think of the answer. Cornwall Reports has got details of Mr Painter's trip to Brussels, including who he's going to meet and what he hopes to get out of it. I have to say that compared with how central government is handling this whole Brexit fiasco, on this occasion County Hall appears to be a very well-oiled machine. Cornwall Reports also looks forward to the imminent report from HM Inspector to Fire and Rescue Services. Word on the street is that Cornwall's financial management could do better. And Cornwall Reports covered the continuing woes of the construction firm Keir, which tends to win high-value public sector contracts in Cornwall, but will they still be around to finish them? The national media was quick to get in on the act when it found out that Bude had fallen into the sea, at least a large chunk of it had, at Linton Cliffs. The cliffs disappeared right before our very eyes. The Guardian was among those to use Deborah Smith's dramatic footage of the cliffs collapse. The BBC has been covering unhappiness about the waste shredder at Conan Bridge, which is more than 20 miles away from the big waste incinerator at St Denis. It's because the incinerator can take waste only if it's the size of a bin bag. More than a thousand old mattresses have to be shredded every week and then driven from Conan Bridge to St Denis. I wonder why nobody thought of that when the incinerator was built. The Falmouth Packet tells us how a local microbrewery is crowdfunding to help finance a new fermenter to help keep up with demand. The Cornish Times welcomed the long-awaited return of the third Torpoint Ferry. And finally, Cornwall Live thinks it might snow at Christmas. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.